Hey guys, I'm back with another installment of my Spring Fever 2019 where I'm just I'm sorting and I'm purging. I'm getting rid of stuff that I'm just so ready to let go of. I've been on a big kick with it. I've done a few videos already. I have them all linked below if you guys wanna see what I've been up to so far. And today I wanna to tackle my wardrobe. Now, on the one hand, this could feel daunting, but on the other hand, it really doesn't. I did a huge, huge clean out uh, four or five years ago, and then I subsequently did another couple of pretty big sweeps, basically every spring since. Um, and that's not to say I haven't acquired clothing since then, but between two pregnancies, so lots of maternity clothes, lots of postpartum fluctuating sizes, I just wasn't buying a lot of new stuff that I wasn't wearing a lot. If that makes sense, um, I have a mama form, I like to call it, I'm wearing it today. A t-shirt for layering, um, cardigan, like generally a long one, and jeans. That is basically what I wear most every day when it's co cold or coldish outside. Um, if it's not cold, I'll lose the, uh, lose the cardigan. Anyway, now that I am putting my baby making days behind me and moving more towards what I think is my like not in the baby making years size. I'm like moving more towards that, what my body's gonna settle into. I mean, it's, body composition is so interesting. I think especially as a woman going through childbearing and then there's just a lot of different things that happens and you can remain the same weight even and your body composition can completely change. And actually that's been the case for me in the past year. It's been almost, I think it, I think it was about May, like mid-May or I can't even remember. It was sometime in May last year where I hit my pre-pregnancy weight. But of course my body was just completely not what it was pre-pregnancy. Um, I would say pre-pregnancy with Charlotte was a lot different than it was a lot different than it was pre-pregnancy with Donnie, even though the the number was the same. Like that number pre-pregnancy weight for both kids was basically the same. It only differed by like a couple of pounds. But my body shape was totally different, and how clothes sit on me and how I felt comfortable in clothes that was totally different. So um, yeah, body composition. What a what a thing. Anyway. I am ready today to sweep through. Like I said, I've gotten rid of a lot. I did even a purge last year, which I'll throw up in a car if you guys wanna see. I got rid of like all my maternity stuff, anything that was really ratty. The thing with my clothes now is that I tend to wear the same like five t-shirts over and over and over again. And they get, kind of, they get these holes actually um, at the bottom of them. And a lot of people, um, I mentioned this last year, and a lot of people message in saying they had that too, and it was from leaning up against counters all the time, or like changing table or the crib with the baby, and that rubbing against the um, fly of your pants. And especially with like me doing dishes, the way the sink, I can't help it, it does like splatter on me sometimes, the water, and that also will wear on the fabric. Um, so I need new t-shirts. Uh, I'm not gonna run out and buy a whole new wardrobe, but I know I need new t-shirts. Um, and I kind of want to think about in the next year, maybe not right this second, because like I said, my body composition is definitely still shifting. Um, my baby just literally just weaned, so that's all gonna change. My hormones are gonna settle into whatever they're gonna settle into, but that's still kind of in flux. So I don't wanna go crazy and buy a lot of stuff right now, but I do need some new t-shirts for spring and summer. Um, and maybe, I don't know, I have to look at my bottoms. I don't even know what like spring and summer friendly bottoms I have. But I think, you know, in the next year or so, I wanna have some kind of nicer casual outfits, dresses I can wear, maybe even skirts. I don't know, what a concept. And some nicer pieces too, because I think, I think it's time to kind of switch that up. Anyway, all right. I'm gonna go through this with you as well as I can. Um, I might speed through some of the footage because otherwise it's just gonna be really long, but I have less than an hour. So I wanna see how much I can do in that time. Um, I'm hoping to get the whole wardrobe done, but if it's just a dresser drawers, then I'll do the closet another day. Um, so I have no time limit for this, but I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna sit and think too much. I'm just gonna get through stuff. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, so let's go to it. 
Okay, so just to give you a quick overview, we're here in the my husband and my bedroom, the master bedroom. I don't know, that's what it is. And uh, we have two bureaus in here, really beautiful, big bureaus. We have so much room for storage, and that can be a problem, I think. And you know, if you have the room, why not fill it? Well, I don't feel that need anymore. I used to. I don't anymore. So um, these eight drawers are full of my clothes, um, and I think I can pare that down by at least two drawers full. I think I really can. Um, there's nothing, in, there's yoga props in that uh, cabinet and there's, that cabinet's empty. I left them open because they make a really loud noise when you close them and I will open them to show you what's in them. And then over here, um, this bureau I share with my husband. He has significantly less clothing than me and people are always so worried. He doesn't have enough room for his stuff. You guys, he doesn't have enough stuff for the room we have. <laughs> And he doesn't care. Um, so please rest assured that Don has all the room he needs. And if he ever needed more, he could have it. No problem. Basically, the top two drawers are my undergarments. And the bottom two drawers are like mm, lounge and pajamas. Uh, and I didn't go through those last year. I'm definitely going to go through those this year. So uh, I'm going to start over here. I'll just show you. This is yoga props. Sorry. My tripod is and there's nothing in this guy. Oh, there's something in there. Oh, that's a, a, a plug thing for a remote plug. I don't know what you call those. Um, oh, there. It did the big loud thing. Anyway, uh, that used to have all my pumping stuff in it, but I don't pump anymore. <laughs> um, this empty. Let's try not to slam this one. Okay. And this has all my fuzzy socks. Well, here. Let's start right here. I also should say I did not prepare and bring in any like bags or anything for this because I literally have so little time to do it. So I'm just going to throw things into piles on the floor. To There's going to be some things that are going to have to toss. So I'll do textile recycling for that uh, and then uh, donate. That's all it's going to be. So these middle socks here, I know I want to keep those because I actually wear those a lot. I never, never, never wear those. I'm like not into these anymore so we can get rid of those. They're, they're really worn out anyway. So, goodbye. Um, let's see. Well, those are all right. I never wore those yellow ones. They're too loosey-goosey. I really like these. These are from like the Target dollar spot over the years. They're not the best quality, but they're really cheap. And these were from Victoria's Secret many moons ago. Um, but there, already. Well, that was easy. Off to a good start. Okay, so I know this next set of drawers is going to be tough because it's workout stuff. And a lot of it's really nice quality workout stuff that I bought well over a decade ago. Um, this top drawer, this is a nursing thing that can be donated. These I actually wear sometimes for, for whatever reason. That one can go, it's kind of icky. Um, I wore these more when I was, this is not gonna fit my, my um, chest anymore. I wore these when I was in, pregnant these ones I bought them they're really big and I just could not be bothered to wear a bra but I felt like I wanted to wear something but no they can go now and then I have these are my were my favorite high impact sports bras I don't even know if they make them from Victoria's Secret anymore um so before I like my sports bras really tight um so I have no movement there before I had Charlotte I wore 32 double D in those and then after, I wore a 34 double D. Now, I'm honestly not sure which of these is going to fit. So, what, and these are really nice and they're still in good shape. So, I'm actually going to keep all of these. And then, whenever my breasts, you know, finally settle into whatever their size is going to be, right now I am at my pre, my like in between pregnancy bra size, which is one size up from my pre-total baby bra size. I'm gonna save those for now because um, uh, I'm not sure which I'm gonna end up keeping, but I don't need to get rid of all of them. This is another nursing um, sports bra thing that has basically zero support, so there's really no, oh, I already pulled those out. And this is just really, really old Lululemon um, underwear that I wore for a really long time. It's like my exercise underwear, but I don't, I think it's time to let go. I might keep the thongs though, because I like those for yoga um, when I go to a class. So I'm going to keep those because I don't wear 
um, thongs like that anymore on a daily basis. I did in my youth. Okay, so like I said, this is all oh, workout stuff, you guys. I have so much workout stuff. These are the t-shirts I've been wearing currently, so I'm going to keep those. And I know I like these tank tops. And these are actually just inexpensive tank tops that I got at Target several years ago. Um, I don't know if I need to keep them all. Um, wow, I have a lot of these. <laughs> I didn't even know. This one I didn't really like, so we can get rid of that. Well, that's good. I, I wear workout clothes a lot, so I don't mind keeping them, but I know a lot of this stuff can go. These I don't like. <laughs> is this a tone it up one? I feel like it is. Oh my gosh. Sun kind of wonderful. This is like a flashback thing. Blast of the past, that can go. So here's where I'm going to run into trouble because a lot of this stuff is really nice, like expensive workout gear, and there's nothing wrong with it. Um, but it's just like more than I need. You know what I mean? Um, well, that's really wrinkly. This is like a yoga top. Goodbye. I have two of those. Oh, and it's in a different size. And it's brand new. Extra small. Oh, how do you know which size you are? Okay, I'm going to have a second pile. Is a try-on pile. Yeah, some of this stuff is nice Lululemon stuff, but that doesn't mean I need to keep it, right? Honestly, if I haven't, I haven't worn it in a long time, so um, this is like yoga, regular workout stuff. These are literally just t-shirts that I've been wearing at home. Um, this is all my running stuff. This is going to be hard to get rid of because I don't know if I'm going to get back into running. I hope that I will be able to, but I'm just, I'm just not sure my body's going to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I'm not going to wear these slinky little tank tops to run in anymore. <laughs> That's just not going to happen. This is bright. These are good if you're out on the road. I keep hoping I'll be able to run again, but I just, I'm just not sure. <sighs> I hate getting rid of them because they're like still in really nice shape, but nope. I'm just going to keep a couple because like I said, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to run again. And I think I'll just keep one of these guys. Yeah, I'll keep the purple one. Nice, some couple of my layering options. These have seen better days. Okay, well, I got rid of quite a bit of that. So I'm gonna tuck those in the back because that's I'm not doing like a Marie Kondo folding job here, you guys, but I'll have to go back through and fold everything. I just wanna get through things arm warmers. Oh man. This is running stuff that I will keep. So here's what we're going to do is I'm going to make a little, I'm going to make this side be all my running stuff that I'm just not sure about. If I can't run again, I've already come to terms with it. I'm at peace with it. Um, I feel like I never really liked the way this hung around my neck. Okay, goodbye. Um, then I'll get rid of this stuff and I'll know this in the next year. If running is not in the cards for me. Wow, these are really old Lululemon tights. Uh, I've had these for at least a decade. Oh, these are all my different weights of running tights for different weather. Okay. I'm going to keep running tights. Yeah, and I'm making a deal with myself that if in whatever, in the next year, if running, if I figure out running is not in the cards for me, and I know that it very well might not be. Um, this is a yoga thing. Then I'm not, and then I'll get rid of all these things on this side. But look, good work. Okay, moving right along. Guess what? That is a drawer full of leggings. <laughs> Guess how many of those leggings I wear on a regular basis? One. These, these are my, no, that's not true. My two workout crops, which are Zella, are in the wash. So, but I don't even keep them in the store. I wear them so much. These are my Lululemon Align pants. Wear those all the time. They're not all leggings over there. That's not leggings. I don't, honestly, I'm gonna have to speed through this because I don't even know what to do with all of them. I, I don't even know. I don't. 
All right, I'm gonna cut out this part because it's just gonna take too long. The video is gonna be too long and then I'll come back in and show you what I kept. Okay, this actually went a lot faster than I thought it would. I'll just talk you through what I did. So what I had was a co large collection of Zella and Lululemon um, yoga pants in crop and full length size. So basically what I kept is one crop and wool, one full length of Zella, one, uh, one crop and wool, one full length of the Lululemon Wonder Unders, and then my Lululemon Align pants. And then I also had, I only had a couple pairs of shorts. I just got rid of one pair of shorts, and I have two pairs of fitness shorts and these kind of fitnessy loungy pants from Under Armour. And that's all I'm keeping out of that whole drawer. And then this is what I'm going to give away. All This is all donate. This is all donate yoga pants and different lengths. And these are other kinds of fitness pants that I'm getting rid of. And then I have in surplus one crop. The same, basically, of what I'm keeping of the Zella one crop, one full length, and the Lululemon Wonder Unders one crop, one full length. I'm going to bring these out to our home in Utah. We have a family home there. I realize I don't really have yoga pants out there um, that I like, actually. So I thought I would bring these out, and that's a good way to um, kind of have stuff out there that I don't have to remember to pack. Now I can actually fit everything. I'm pretty sure up here. Now, like I said, this isn't organizing. I'm not organizing today, um, but I'm already down a whole drawer, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to do that on the other side of the bureau as well. Okay, so what we have down here is a combination of really old sweatpants and bathing suits. Um, these are both um, Victoria's Secret sweatpants. I honestly, I haven't worn them in years. These are different fitness sweatpants. I know these can go. Um, honestly, should I keep one pair? These are Under Armour ones. They're just really good. They're like huge, but if I want to put something on over, if I'm like running to the gym when it's really cold, I think I'll save those and put those in with my other kind of random gym pants um, in that drawer. Okay, well, that was easy. Bathing suits are a little tougher. If this is another one of those things where I'm not really sure where my body composition is going to end up. Um, this is a little travel bag I've used for years for my swimsuits. This was from Gap or Ever Got. Let me keep that. This little sarong I've had for years too. I honestly never, never, ever, 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 ever use it. Goodbye. I literally never wear it. This is a little, these are actually um, maternity cover-ups, but it's just a, a beach cover-up, right? It's not really, eh, no, that can go, I think I'm over that. Oh, and this little dress one I loved. This was a little Gap maternity one that you, it really just looks like a little dress, to be honest. I still like this one. I know it's a little bit childish, but I kind of like it. It's just a bathing suit cover-up. Um... This is silly to keep it. I'm gonna need a new cover up if I get rid of this. I think I have a couple in my closet actually. I'm gonna get rid of it. Okay, wow, I didn't think I would get rid of that. All right, so I have a couple of bikinis. Um, these are really nice bikini bottoms if nothing else. Um, I haven't really honestly seen myself wearing a bikini in a long time. I don't really like the colors of that anymore. I'm gonna keep these bottoms though because these are really nice bottoms from Athleta. I do like wearing two pieces just easier for matching like when you're going to the bathroom. So I usually wear like a tank um, style top. This is really pretty if I ever wanna wear a bikini again. This is a really pretty one. Maybe I should keep one just to have, just in case I ever feel like rocking a bikini someday. Okay, now I totally need new swimsuits. This is the one I've been wearing basically since I had Charlotte. Um, and it is just so stretched out. And if nothing else, I just need to replace it. So um, I'm going to keep that. I just bought these little swim shorts as a mom. Now I just want to have a little bit more coverage. This is my only like actual sport swimming suit. And that's relatively new. I've only had that for a few years. So I'm going to keep that. Oh, this was a bathing suit I bought when I was pregnant um, with Cece. It's not actually a maternity bathing suit, 
laundry. It's really cute. It's very revealing in the chest though, and I just don't think I feel comfortable wearing that with the kids. Um, oh, and then I loved this to death when I had my little ones. Um, but you know what? It makes my boobs really itchy. I need a new bathing suit, you guys. I at least need, I at least need a new tankini top, so I might just buy another one of those, that TYR, however you say that brand. Well, did a lot of work in the bathing suit. That's good. You know what? I can move this up. I can move this up. Oh my gosh, we already have our two empty drawers. Let's take this. Organize this right now because time is of the essence. But uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. look at that! Look at that! Two doors down already in this cabinet, this side alone. Okay, we have a lot of socks over here like a lot. Like a lot of socks. Um, all athletic socks on this side and all not athletic socks on that side. Socks is one of those things, it's like the here again. I have all my running socks for different weather. Um, I have my really cold weather running socks. Then I have all my Lululemon running socks, which I loved for years. These were compression socks I literally never wore. But is that something you keep? Because just as if I ever call myself a runner again, it's something I'm supposed to have. Some of these Lululemon running socks are so old. That's the thing though, they're like really nice socks and they have held up and stood the test of time. And they're just my favorite for running. I can't fit them all on one side, I don't know why I'm trying to do that. I just don't see the point in getting rid of them if I'm gonna run again. Um, these little ones actually, I don't know, I think those are actually my newest ones. These were ones that I wore when I was inline skating. Um, and I do want to keep those in case I ever get back into that. And again, I hope to. <laughs> this is just like, and a lot of my regular workout socks are in the wash because it's laundry day. Um, okay. Well, I didn't get rid of anything, but I condensed it a bit. Let's see, I have some tights. I bought new tights recently. They just need to be folded nicer. I actually bought, just bought these blue tights, but I hate them so much, and I can't return them. I hate both of these, so <laughs> I'm gonna give those away. These are some, oh, thigh highs. Sometimes I prefer this, and not in like, like an intimate kind of way, but just like, I don't know, sometimes I don't want tights digging around my midsection, and I just find thigh highs more comfortable. These are really, really old J. Crew tights, but they don't make them anymore like they do in Italy or like they did. Except my black tights, I'm gonna keep those. Um, so I'm gonna keep those. Another pair of tights, black tights. Okay, so I got rid of a couple pair of tights, actually new ones, but I don't feel bad about that because tights, it's really hard to know if tights are gonna work before you buy them. And oh, these are other, I had the idea that those can go. Um, it's really hard to know before you buy them, and yeah. I've, ha I've had these cashmere socks for literally 15 years, but I wear them every winter, and you just don't put them in the dryer. You wash them like you do any wool, and they're great. And my mom actually brought me these from England, I think. So I will keep all the, I don't think I'm gonna purchase my socks much, you guys, because, or at all. These are all like my boot socks. Okay. Well, basically, I just tidied that drawer and got rid of a couple of things. All of the stuff in this drawer can go. Literally all of it. These are all the larger t-shirts I was wearing right after baby was born. Oh, I hated that shirt. And they can all go now. A lot of these I'm going to have to recycle because they're just, they're so holy at the bottom. They're not, I'm going to recycle these. They're just not worth giving away. These are actually maternity, yeah, no, they are holy too. I'm gonna have to recycle these. I don't know if anybody's gonna want a holy shirt. Um, actually, this one isn't holy. All of this is maternity nursing stuff that I just wasn't ready to get rid of last spring because I had a newborn, um, but it can all go now. 
um, and all of these maternity tanks that I thought I would be able to wear postpartum because they're really, they're just long tank tops. They're too big. They're too big. I tried. They're way too big. So, okay. Well, that's easy. <gasps> three empty drawers. Three. Three empty drawers. So this is the drawer clothes that I wear the most often, but out of this whole drawer of shirts, there's like four shirts that are in the wash. These shirts right here that you don't see. Really the only shirts I wear on a regular basis and that needs to change. I do wear the tanks um, on, as layering options every once in a while. This I feel like this is gonna be hard. This is a, a, sh a Disney shirt. I wanna pop that out and put that in my pile of stuff to take on our trip. These, I don't have many tanks left. I do like this a lot, so I'll keep that one. Oh my gosh, I've had this for so long, but I still love it. Oh, this was, but first tee, it's a cute shirt, but it's just not practical because I like shirts where the bra straps line up with where my bra goes. I don't like wearing racer bra, racer back bras. Um, oh, this Good Vibes shirt is cute. I I forget I have that. That was from the sale last year. I have two mothers of Mother of Dragon shirts, which is unnecessary. I do want to keep one just because it's. I just think it's funny. But I'm gonna get rid of one. I don't need both. The Mama Bear one can go. I'm definitely keeping this one. My Patronus is a Mickey Mouse. That might come to Disney too. Um, let's see. Some Mickey Mouse. Oh, I've had this one forever. This is like the my favorite shirt I think I've ever bought at Disney World. And the problem is it's a little short. This might be a try on. Is that it? I just bought this one. And I bought it oh I bought it in a large. No wonder it's big. It's enormous. I'm gonna have to I've worn it a bunch of times, but I'm gonna have to let that one go. And I haven't really worn this one yet. Um so see the thing with the Target graphic um tees is I find they run really small. Um, this is big too, um, but I do want to keep it because it's a good bumming around the house shirt. Um, I don't know. I just feel like they run really small. Um, and so I think all of the shirts from Target are going to run small, and they don't. And then I think they're going to shrink in the wash, and they don't. Now, a lot of these have holes, and I'm just, you know what, we're just going to let go of the holy stuff. It's just going to go. I'm going to buy myself new t-shirts because it's time for new t-shirts. Um, oh, I really love this one. I love these Caslon tees, but they, they're just such a fine material. They don't hold up well. Um, I feel like the holy ones maybe I shouldn't give away. Some of them aren't super holy. No, I should probably recycle them. Okay. Well, this one looks okay. Yeah, these I bought pre- between Cece and Donnie. I remember I had bought a, I didn't expect to get pregnant so fast with Donnie, and then I bought myself a couple of pairs of jeans and a few t-shirts that like I had just started to fit into, and then I got pregnant, and I was like, no, that's so old. These are probably really holy, I'm guessing. Yes, very holy. All these Kazlon ones. Oh, my little ladybug shirt. Yeah, it's a boy too. Well, I got to pretty good work there. Oh my goodness, you guys. I just, I wear like the same four t-shirts and I, they're all holy too. Look, see that? So I'm going to get rid of the ones in the wash and I'm just going to buy new ones and I need the next size down um, in those anyway. Now, and a lot of these are basic tanks that I know I'm keeping because they're really good layering tanks in my different nudes and neutrals. Um, I need to, I need to fold everything better. Yeah, these these things we're gonna keep. Oh, this is so short. Nope, that's not the short one. I got rid of the short one. Oh, good. Okay, these are really old. I don't, I don't think I wear those anymore. I like that one. I don't know if I really ever wear this green one. Okay, I never really wear that blue one anymore either. And for some reason, I have two blue. Tank tops. I don't need two. Just keep one. Should we take one to Utah? We'll put that in the Utah pile. Those are good. Yay! Well, I'm gonna move this stuff up the drawer. Because 
and move it on up to the second drawer. Cool. Good work. Oh, this is all my sweaters and sweatshirts. So, a lot of this is actually keep. It's just not folded very well. I actually really don't like these BP ones. Okay. Not all of it's keep, apparently. Well, I already got rid of one. Oh, I like this shirt. Oh, I forget I have this shirt. That was a stitch fix thing. I, I'm gonna actually put things up as I go. That's a long sleeve shirt I never wear. Um, a couple more sweaters. Oh, I know I like that one. Sweaters. I'm gonna keep my really big sweaters down here. I think that's the thing I need to. I have, I have this space, like, you don't need to fill up. It doesn't mean I have to scrunch all my clothes into one drawer either. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I haven't worn this in a hot minute. Oh my gosh, I used to love this one. I feel like it's a little short. Did I grow? I think it's just because my boobs got bigger. <laughs> I think I'll throw that one on. I have a lot of little Mickey shirts that I love. Okay. Keep all the Mickey guys. Because I like them. This one's getting hole in it, holes in it, and it's also pretty short. I'm gonna say goodbye to that. This is really stained up, and it's enormous. I have loved wearing it, but it's so big. I'm getting rid of that. Definitely keeping my Foxy Fix. Guy, that's the only one. I used to have so many of those, and that's the only one I kept. These are really nice sweaters I wanna keep. Okay, let's see. Now, I probably actually can fit all of this in one drawer. This drawer is completely empty, so that's three drawers empty in this bureau. And what was my my goal was was a one or two? I don't remember, but a three. That's pretty good. And then I moved my long sleeve things. I don't have many up into this drawer because I prefer to layer. Like I said, I need to refold some of this stuff, obviously. But um, there's actually quite a bit of room in here. Like if I scrunch everything up, you can see that. But I want to keep it a little bit spaced up. But just because I have the space doesn't mean I have to fill it. Um, but I am going to buy myself. Probably about half a dozen um, basic solid t-shirts to replace the ones that are in the wash that you're not seeing anyway. Uh, and that's all of that bureau. And so far we have the recycle pile, the donate pile, the couple of things to try on, and the Utah pile. So now we're at dress number two. This is all underwear. This is my underwear drawer. So you guys are, you guys are getting a, a look. Aren't you excited? Um, yeah, a lot of this can go because the only underwear I wear, which is mostly in the wash, is usually stacked right there. My favorite underwear, I've talked about it before. These are for feet, that can go. Um, this is for nursing moms, that can go. These go to nursing bras, that can go. Um, I don't wear any of this stuff. Oh, I never did this. Um, the thing that you wear around your midriff when you, after you had a baby, I forget what they're called, belly bandit? Never did that. I can donate that. Somebody will get a use out of it. This was really, really nice. After I had my C-section, my mother-in-law actually bought me really nice compression underwear um, that just helps kind of keep your, it's basically instead of wearing the belly bandit. I'm never gonna wear this stuff again though, but it's really nice, so I actually, See if I can donate that somewhere. Is that weird to donate underwear? It's like underwear I didn't wear a lot. Oh, this can go. This is the sleep mask I'm never gonna use. Um, this was the underwear I wore during my pregnancies that was bigger size. It's like, um, it's really big. And still really nice underwear, but again, can't, I mean, like, it's in really good shape. Like, can you donate underwear? Is that just gross? Or do I just recycle it? Um, so out of that side, I'm like one pair, but like I said, all the rest of my underwear is in the wash. This side, I know a lot of this is just old and can be, t like literally can be recycled. Um, like all of those can go. And, um, all of, all of this is just so old. Like we're talking, we're talking really old and now I have other underwear that I like better. So I'm just gonna say so long farewell. I think, oh, you know what? This is underwear that's really good when you're wearing something or you don't want a panty line to show, but you don't want to wear a thong. Do I want to keep some of these? 
Is it like, like, do, is it awkward that I'm showing my underwear on the internet so much? I don't know, this stuff's just really old. Maybe I'll just keep a, a couple of neutral pairs. I think that's what I'll do. I'll just keep two neutral pairs. The rest can go. Goodbye. <laughs> and then, oh, you guys, my, I feel like I put my thong days behind me. <laughs> okay, yeah. Some of this will maybe come out of the internet. I'm going to finish this drawer and then show you the end result. Okay, so I basically got rid of it all. I got rid of it all. This was my thoughts about this. Most all of that underwear was over a decade old. I had seen plenty of use. And I just didn't feel like I needed it anymore. I just, if I want to wear that kind of underwear again. I don't like pasties. Isn't that weird? I feel like that's one of those things you have to kind of say just in case you ever need it. I'll just buy myself some new underwear. But I've really honestly just been wearing the packed underwear and I've been loving it. And that's all done. And I can definitely downsize all of my undergarments into one drawer. And I think use one drawer for beauty items and maybe jewelry. Because um, I actually have another piece that goes with these drawers that sits over the top. That is like a felted upper shelf. Just a thought. Okay, so we move on to the next side. And I can already tell you 90% of this can go. These are all... Um, Bamboo breast pads, never gonna need those again. <laughs> and then all of my nursing bras, of which I have basically this whole side, all can go. And that's another thing that I wanna see if we can, I can donate, um, we'll see. And then on this side, I recently, in the last actually couple of weeks, sized back down into my in-between babies um, size, which currently is 34D, if you wanna know for any reason, I don't know. Um, so I had 36D when I was pregnant, um, and they are way too big now, and postpartum for a little bit, um, so those I can give away. So I am wearing one bra, and I have two other ones, and I find three bras is plenty. Um, plenty of bras. What are these? Something I've never worn, ever, and probably had forever, so those can go. And look at this. Now, I am going to put my two bras over there and my two little piles of underwear over here and I don't even need all these lingerie sachets <laughs> empty I can totally if I want to get rid of my vanity which I've been talking about I can totally put makeup on one side and any jewelry that doesn't fit in my jewelry box can go on the other done just a note too, if you're thinking to yourself, why on earth do you have so many nursing bras? Let me tell you, it took me a, your, first of all, when you're nursing, your breasts go through a variety of sizes. So these are not all one size. It's probably about three different sizes. And trying to find the right style can take a little time too. And your preference for styles can change as your nursing journey continues. So that's why there's so many. Now, like I said, the middle um, four drawers are my husband's. So we're just gonna go down to the bottom two drawers and that's gonna be it for my drawers. So in drawer number one here, we have all pajamas. And this is something that I put off doing last year because uh, here's the problem. I have so many really cute pajama sets and I only, only ever wear the bottoms. But I'm like, do I separate the set? Like who's gonna just want the top out of the donation stuff? Let's see if we can do some work with this. Um, a lot of these I know I'm gonna to wanna to keep even if they're a little bit big now and they're pajamas that I bought when I was either pregnant or postpartum, but this is one of those things that I feel like they can be a little bit big. It's not like I'm going out in them. I love these. These were my, my Christmas pajamas this year from Hannah Anderson. And again, I wore the bottoms a ton and I, I wore the top just on Christmas. <laughs> But I think what I've decided is I want to keep the sets together, even if I never, ever, ever wear the bottoms. I just, maybe I'll store them separately um, and you fold them separately. Okay, because, yeah. Um, I really, really like these pajamas from Panda, but they're huge. And they're, I think they're just like a male size and I bought them in a small, I don't know, I guess I'll keep them. They're really nice and warm for those my office gets really, really cold because it's over the garage. So for those really cold winter days, they're nice to have. 
Okay, well, I remember, no, I'm keeping all the things that I just pulled out of the drawer. Those are keeping. These other ones, I feel like I can be, I feel like I can get rid of some of these old J. Crew ones. Uh, there's nothing, there's like nothing wrong with them, but I don't need so many pajama pants. I don't sleep in these. Oh, did I mention I don't sleep in these? I don't sleep in these. They are simply for like for lounging, and I basically don't wear lounge clothes much at all anymore. Um, I might take. No, I have pajama pants out in Utah. I don't need any pajamas in Utah. I know I want to save one of these kind of more summery ones for when we're traveling and staying in the same house with family. It's nice to have pajamas you feel like you can wear around family. I think it's going to be these though. These boutique ones, these are really cute. Um, so I'm gonna keep those. But I don't get rid of these. Maybe I'll keep, should I keep one pair of little short? These are huge. I must have bought these when I was pregnant. Okay, maybe I won't keep those. I love these pajama pants and I've loved them for years, but I just don't, I just don't feel like I really wear them anymore. Um, not in college, I don't need 15 pairs of pajama pants anymore. Not like I really needed those in college, but you know, kind of a college -y thing to do. Um, I'm gonna think about those for a second. And then my Aaron Condren ones. Oh, here's the top that go with those smaller ones. Oh, this is so warm. I would never ever wear these to, I can't understand how people wear like full sets of pajamas to bed because that would just get too hot. Do I even have two sets of these? No, I have one. Oh, these Erin Condren ones are really cute. I don't even think they sell these anymore. I'm gonna keep them just for to wear it go wild. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna keep these. Okay, I still have too many pajamas. But I knew this was gonna be the harder for me. I don't know why the pajamas is harder. It just is. Um I really, I could not tell you why, but I'm keeping the tops, just like I said, to keep the sets together. And I basically have my winter sets and my spring summer sets. And I'm actually pretty proud because I'm getting rid of all of this. So it's not my best work, but it's pretty good for what I was expecting out of that drawer. And last but not least, this is a random drawer of stuff, but mostly my sleep shirts and any uh, like miscellaneous lounging stuff. I, I feel like I can do pretty good work in here. Most of my sleep shirts that I wear are in the wash. Um, there's probably, there's three in the wash. Um, so I have four that I rotate through. I have like kind of two really warm ones and a couple of less warm ones. That's just what I prefer to sleep in. Um, so I know I'm going to keep those. And that's a big empty space that you see there. Um, I know I can get rid of these because I don't need those anymore. They're just a little bit worn out and um, yeah, this is like a sleep, a really long sleep shirt that I just don't think is very cute. <laughs> I really like this Minnie Mouse one though. So I'm going to keep that. These are like these little lacy bralette things that I just I think I got them for free, actually. They were like a promotion with Pink years ago. I'm never gonna wear those. These are kind of nicer, kind of more intimate things that have some sentimental values, so I might save those. I'm not gonna pull those out. I <laughs> hope you guys can understand. And then these are all just kind of loungy shirts. That again, mostly sentimental stuff here. Oh, my Taylor Swift shirt. <laughs> that can go. <laughs> I'm gonna wear that. have to keep this one. One of my, um, Best friends growing up went to Exeter, and I don't know, it's just one of those ones I feel like I have to keep. My NYU shirt. Oh, my Go Wild shirt. Well, obviously I have to keep that. The Snoopy shirt can go. This is actually Don's old shirt, Pebble Beach shirt. These are um, things that, honestly, I might just save for Go Wild. Oh, this was a shirt I bought on Etsy that's just like really big just doesn't work to wear at the parks. And then I have, I'm gonna get rid of the NYU shirt, oh my. I have a couple of old Aaron Condren t-shirts. Um, do 
I want to keep them. Sunday fun day. They're just this is they're just really short. I don't know what was the style of shirt they made. I'm gonna keep the go wild one. Literally, probably just for go wild. <laughs> Not pictured are four other um, kind of sleep shirts like this that I wear a lot, but. I got rid of most everything else. And actually, could probably just put those t-shirts in with my t-shirt drawer. I wonder if I can consolidate all this down into one drawer. Well, like I said, I have a space and I don't want to, but I don't know. Don't, Don ever wants this drawer. I can definitely move some of this stuff. Um, but he really doesn't want it. And I don't imagine him wanting it in the future. But if he ever did, he could have it. Okay, guys, I'm taking you into my closet now. Um, I'm not going to do accessories, shoes, all of that today um that's basically all on this side except for those middle things that are pants i'm not going to do any of that today i'm going to do that on another day um but i just thought i'd give you an overview of the clothes i have in here still quite a few things but i have them pretty well spaced at least in the dresses and on the bottom here um i have quite a few flannels and flyaway cardigans on the top because i do tend to wear those things more and um, I did actually go through this not too long ago, I would say maybe a couple months ago, and I pulled out quite a bit. So I'm not sure there's gonna be much more to pull out. Um, but let's go through it and see. I'm just noticing on the back of the closet door here, I have some robes. Um, I have a robe in my bathroom that I really like. That's, I would say, a mid-weight. This is my plush one. I wear this very seldomly but I do wear it especially when I'm working um, in my office late at night in the really cold winter months because it is freezing it is rather large because I bought it um, for when I was pregnant with Charlotte but you know I'm gonna keep that for now I know I can get downsized one of these because I bought the L this is an Aaron Condren robe I don't even know if they sell these anymore to be honest I bought the large extra large as a postpartum like or hospital robe with Donnie and it's just too big for me now I have the small medium um, so and I'm gonna keep this one which is really just really nice kind of I, I don't wear this often at all but if ever Don and I get to go on vacation alone we will one day right now that's not a priority but it's an Oscar de la Renta, de la Renta robe and I really like it so I already have one thing to get rid of and I actually I actually have a bag in here that I pop things in um, just periodically and it's already got a few things in it so I'm just gonna add that to it and get a fresh battery for this camera so these four boxes here are basically the only clothes on this part of the closet except for I have a couple of brand new pairs of jeans in here that I had bought literally I I feel like it was just a couple weeks before I found out I was pregnant with Donnie and I didn't even get the chance to like cut the tags off they're still I just bought them um, because I needed new jeans and I was moving into this size and then I got pregnant and <laughs> that size never happened and I'm getting closer to it now so I'm going to save those for now and see if that's I'm very close to that size it's my um, pre first pregnancy pant size I'm still just a little bit bigger than I am in my caboose <laughs> and around that area um, but I'm, I'm trending in that direction which is exciting so two pairs of jeans that I wear most frequently are not in these boxes right now because one is in the wash and the other ones I'm wearing. Did you like my kick? I know you did. I feel like it's going to be hard to downsize from here because know, why is it so hard to get rid of jeans? Oh, these. These were a stitch fix thing. They're skinnies. I like the skinnies I have now. Maybe I want to try those on. Those are really stretchy. Okay, so I'll put those in the try on pile. These AGs are so cute, but they are my pre pre pregnancy size, I feel like. What size are these? 27R. Yeah, right now I'm a 28. This is one of those things I'm hoping to get back into, but here's the deal I'm going to make with myself because I'm in a much better place emotionally about size and stuff than I was even a year ago, I would say. These are um, not your daughter's jeans, and I really, I really never wear these. I should try these on and make sure about these. I don't know why don't I wear those. Um, I'm gonna pop in frame for a second. Um, 
size used to mean more to me than it does. It's never meant so little to me now. Than, I mean, it's just, I'm in a really good place with like body and st I'm still a work in progress, but I'm just, this is the best that I've, place that I've been in for a very, very long time. And I'm just realizing you can hear the dryer in the background. I apologize for that, but I have to multitask. Anyway, if I'm a 28 from now on, I'm a 28 from now on, and I'm cool with that. But that being said, I'm not just going to chuck all my really nice 27s because I know my body is still changing. I literally just weaned. I have my babies 13 months old. My body didn't start to trend back fully to its pre-pregnancy side after my first child until right before I got pregnant with my second one. And she was, what, 15 months old? 16 months old? So I think by the time of 18 months post having her, I would have been back there just naturally, or at least in that size, even though your body is different. So I'm, I'm not going to get rid of the 27s yet. I'm going to hold on to them. But I'm making a deal with myself. If in one year those 27s don't fit, I'm going to send them packing and get myself a couple new pairs of 28s. Okay, so those are all my full length jeans and these are my crops. Now these are all current sizes from last fall summer so they might be a little big on me now but I'm probably going to wear them this spring um, and they'll be comfortable so my AGs I'm gonna keep my gaps are my favorite these I don't actually really like so you know I can get rid of that that's cool those were a stitch fix thing I mean there's something wrong with them I just don't love them and then these are mom jeans that I really want to love I don't love wholly my deal with myself with this is if I don't wear them this summer, I'm going to get rid of them. The problem with I want to be able to wear shorts that are mom shorts, but my body shape, it, they just don't look cute. They just really don't. So I'm going to give those another, maybe I'll put those in the try on pile. I'm going to decide. That's what we'll do. All right, good. Let's do that. All right, I'm going to move over here. I'm going to shoot. Now over here, these are obviously my black and dark colored jeans. I wear these AGs all the time. I really like these ones were from, I've had these for years. I don't know where they're from. I really like these gray ones. I want to wear them more. I just don't know what colors to wear them with. These cut ones, I don't think I'd ever wear these. Shall we look at them? I know I really like those AGs. Is that it? Do I just like the AGs? Maybe we'll put those in the try on pile too. I know they fit. I just don't know if I need that many pairs of black jeans. This is kind of the wrong for store. These, these are the pants that I very, very seldomly wear, but I've kept, I've held on for several reasons. I don't like wearing white pants. I just, I have thick thighs. I just don't like the way they look on me. But we do this family photo thing every year. I can get rid of the Levi's. Those can go. And I kind of need to have a pair where I can, we have to wear white bottoms. So I'm going to hold on to those for that. These are really good travel pants that I bought when we went to um, Italy from Prana. I'm going to hold on to those. And these are really good golf pants, if I ever play golf again. <laughs> now, these, oh, these are new. These green cords are new, and I haven't worn them. This must be an, uh, been another pair of pants that I bought. I either just totally forgot about. What size are they? I don't even know. Does it even set anywhere. Well, that's helpful. Um, no clue. I'm going to try those on. I really like them. They're green cords. I'll give those a go. Okay, so that's good. I didn't think I was going to purge anything from that, and I actually purged right out of there two pairs, and then I have five to four or five to try on, so that's pretty good. So down here is all sweatshirts and then active wear, and I have like a skirt. These were two tops that I had pulled that I wasn't sure of. This is a maternity top. It's really nice, but I'm not ever going to wear it, so that can go. Um, and this is beautiful silk blouse that I wanted to think about for a little while. I want to I want to be the kind of person who can wear this. I think the problem is I felt like it was a little too short than I wanted it to be. Should I try that one on? Maybe that's a try on. Okay, and then sweatshirts. I want to keep this one. Obviously, super cute. This one I really don't like. I thought I would love it. 
It's a Zella thing I bought during the sale, I think a couple years ago, Nordstrom's summer sale. And it just doesn't suit. It just doesn't suit me. I just don't like it. Um, this one I do wear sometimes. Oh, this is a throwback. Pebble Beach. This is so old. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it being old. It's just I can't remember the last time I wore it is the thing. Is that one we had on try on too? Okay. I kind of want to try that one on too. I know I want to keep these REI, these North Face things. Oh, the pink sweatshirt can go. I'm over it. I'm over it. Um, this I had bought for uh, dis our, my first Disney trip with CC a couple years ago, and it is just enormous and just is it's just too big to even function. So even though I bought it as personalized, <laughs> yeah, um, this I won't get rid of because I do wear this from time to time. It's my running princess sweatshirt. It's only I think it's like this is my nice hoodie, and that's my <laughs> that hoodie. Okay, so we have a few things to try on, and I dumped a few things. And then this is an athletic jacket that's maternity. I might have to chain, try that on because it was tight enough that it didn't have to. I don't know, though. I was very pregnant when I was wearing it. It probably can go. Well, that's a running vest. These are running things I want to keep. These are golf things. I kind of want to try that on. I feel like that can probably go. These are my golf clothes. I want to keep those because I know I already pared down those. I have a couple of golf skirts. And then I have this Hannah skirt I bought. And I don't actually know if I like, so I want to try that on. And this skirt has been sitting in my closet. I've had this for a good 15 years. It's a beautiful, it's very wrinkly. It's a beautiful skirt from Gap. I don't know if this really works for me anymore, and I don't know what top to wear, so I'm going to try that on. Okay, well that was pretty easy. Oh, here's that jewelry box I was talking about, by the way. See, it's pretty big in my jewelry video. Um, yeah, I'm going to work on that. So, like I did, said, I did sweep through these um, recently, very recently. Um, so I don't feel like there's going to be a ton, because I literally just went through all this. Um, but we'll see if I have any... Oh, these. These are actually, the tags are on just the black one. They're beautiful shirts. Do I want to try those on? Yeah, I feel like I bought them and then I didn't really wear them. Let's put all those extra hangers down here. Put everything together a little bit. I like that green one. This is a maternity chop, uh, top, too, that I really like, but it's really big now. Um, try that one on. I don't know, the blue one's good. I think this is another maternity top that's probably not going to work for me anymore. Okay, we can just, we can get rid of that one. It's really cute, but it's just not going to work. Um, and then all of my 8,000. Am I ever going to wear this? Remember when these were really in? No, I'm not. I don't think I've worn that in years, and I think I only wore it a couple of times. <laughs> I just realized I was really close to the camera. Um, oh, I still like that. I have a couple of kind of lighter weight. This was a really big top, actually, too. But it's really cute. I wonder if it's too big now, though. Maybe I should try that one on, too. I have a lot to try on out of the closet. I'm a little bit surprised. Um... Oh, I love this one. It really only goes with black pants, but that's okay. Okay, all of these flannels. Maybe we can get rid of a couple of flannels, huh? I don't need all of these. I actually, this winter, I think because I was nursing, I didn't wear as many as I normally do. Um, we can get rid of a couple of these. I know I don't wear as frequently. Oops. New ones. My Rails ones are new. Okay, cool. Oh, I actually got rid of some flannels. Surprises, all surprises. I feel like the rest okay. Okay, let's move down a little bit. These are all flyaway style cardigans. And yes, it is excessive. But I do wear them a lot. I don't wear all of them all the time. Um, I'll this Prana one, I mean, it's really pretty, but it's seen better days. I do kind of need a new white one, because look how dingy my white one is. I wear this a ton this summer, though. I'm going to get rid of the Prana one. 
I don't think I've worn that in a long, long time. I really like this Madewell one every once in a while. Okay, so we'll keep kind of the standard. I'm going to put my um, Bear Dreams ones at the end. Let's see. So, two cardigans are missing from them. My, like, staple winter ones. This one I'm wearing and my lighter gray one, which is hanging up to dry in the background. Oh, I haven't worn this in a long time. I don't love it anymore. I loved it for years, and I don't love it anymore. I love that one my mom gave me, even though it has holes in the sleeves. Sadness. This one's such a pretty color. Um, looks like it might need to be washed. Let's see about that. That one I wear all the time. There's Barefoot Dreams. My bigger Barefoot Dreams ones that I wear just really more around the house. I'm going to keep in the back. Um, I might get rid of this one, to be honest. Yeah. Why do I need so many? Is that wrong to get rid of Barefoot Dreams? That one's like my older one, and it's not as nice. This is a really nice sweater, but it's like coming undone a little bit. And it's warmer than I want it to be. Wow, I'm getting rid of way more than I thought I would. Oh, this. I bought this postpartum. Was it with Charlotte or with Donnie? And it pills like crazy. It drives me nuts. It's this halogen thing. It's really pretty and soft. But mm, I'm not in that phase of thinking anymore. This one I wear all the time. It's another gray one. I like my gray ones. Um, a couple of empty hangers for the ones that are out right now. And then my black. My black one. Which is Time, and then two barefoot minerals and minerals barefoot dreams I'm keeping this one is too big um, and that's why I bought the blue one at the sale to replace it and because I did so much nursing in it I think it just got so much milk in it and I washed it so much it's like it's just not very soft anymore well I'm really proud of me <laughs> and then the jean jacket I, I always feel like I just want to keep it I feel like every staple wardrobe makes a good jean jacket. Oh, I got rid of a lot more than I thought it would, you guys. I mean, I know it still looks pretty full, but I, I got rid of quite a few. I got rid of quite a few things. Okay, the dresses, again, not sure I'm really going to get rid of anything over there. So I'm sorry, my closet narrows here, and it's really hard to take you closer to see. This is, um, like a really nice dress that I had tailored specifically to me for a wedding I went to, beautiful wedding years ago that I do want to keep, although I doubt it fits me right now. It's so beautiful. I don't know if this would be even remotely something Cece would be interested in wearing too, to a formal or something at some point. It might be just like too outdated by then, but, or if I'll ever have opportunity to wear it, but it's just something I want to save for right now. Just have. Oh, I do love that. I did go through the dresses too. I feel like there's not going to be a lot to get rid of out of these. Those long dresses I want to give another season. Oh, here's the cover-ups. Um, I think I only need one cover-up. Let's just keep this one and we can give this one away. Oh, I'm really far away from the toss bin. Okay. This I also use as a cover-up. See, now I'm glad I got rid of that other one. Oh, look at all these cover-ups I have. Yeah, I have three cover-ups in here. This can also just be a day dress, but, um, so that's plenty, that's plenty of cover-ups. Um, oh, I still have this dress. We can get rid of this now, I'm ready. The Prana dresses. I wore and loved and wore to death for years and years, but I had three of them originally and I got rid of those. I love these Hannah dresses. They're so comfortable. I'm definitely keeping those. Um, Got so much wear of that. I'm gonna keep that. I can wear this dress all the time. I love that one too. This one's great. This is another one that was a maternity dress. You can kind of get away with wearing it. It's a little big now, to be honest, so I'm gonna say goodbye. I did get some nice use out of it. This is new. Just bought that for the conference I was participating in. I don't know about this one. That might be a try on. Let's put that right here. Just need a place to put it. I love this one, of course, and keeping that. I still love my tea. My tea, um, my tea dress. I still love that one. I love that. 
I don't love this. So I'm gonna say goodbye to that. This is really pretty and classic. I'm gonna keep that. These are my Diane my Di Diane von Furstenberg wrap dresses I bought on clearance for such a bargain. I haven't worn them in a few years because of all the babies. Oh, I, this is a newer dress. That, honestly, I don't love that much. And it's probably a, gonna be a little bit big on me. I'm kinda hoping it's gonna be a little bit big on me come next holiday season. But I'm gonna keep it until next holiday season to see. And then, of course, I have my, my little sweater dresses that I've had forever that are probably just a little bit too short for me now. But I can't part with them. I love them too much, I'm gonna keep them. And then I have part of my Anna Frozen costume here, cause you know, that was important. And some bedding that I'm probably going to give away or sell do something with, and I'm not gonna do boots today. Oh my gosh. Well, I did quite a bit of work here, you guys. More than I thought I would. Now see, I could space all these out like really, really generously, like three inches apart, or I can actually fit them all on one back. Ting. Okay, so what remains, it's not gonna look that different, it's different just because of the way the closet is, but those are all the hangers I emptied, okay? These are all the things I wanna try on. It's quite a few, but we'll see. And then over here is all of the stuff that I'm getting rid of. So that filled up quite substantially. So when all is said and done here, I have one bag of textile recycling, one bag of maternity specific clothes, and then that's all other donate things. And I haven't bagged those yet, but I'm guessing it's three large trash bags, not the white size, but the black ones. I have one pile of mainly leggings to go to the Utah house. And then I have this amount of stuff to try on. And honestly, I think about half of that is going to go. Ah, uh, so all in all, pretty good. The following day. Okay, I went through the pile of um, clothes and I'm getting rid of all of that. It's almost another half a bag, to be honest. Um, and this is all that I'm keeping out of that. And that green shirt is on my watch list. Like if I don't wear it by the end of this year, it's gonna go. It's just, it's really beautiful. Um, it's just, I'm gonna see if I wear it, basically. But yeah, I uh, thought I did a pretty good job of the, the try-on stuff. Getting, just being, being thorough. Look at all that. Five bags of stuff gone. And no real plans, like I said, to buy a lot of new stuff. Not that there's anything wrong with, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you want to get rid of a bunch of, a bunch of stuff so you can buy new stuff and that brings you joy and makes you happy, you do you, okay? I'm not going to judge anybody for that. Personally, at this point right now in my life, I don't want to buy a lot more stuff. I want to buy, like I said, about a half a dozen new t-shirts, maybe a couple of cute summer dresses if I'm feeling, feeling myself, if you know what I mean. Like I said, I've just made a lot of progress in body image and self-esteem and I want to wear dresses and frolic I don't know <laughs> maybe not frolic but um yeah I like the idea of having less so I can wear more of what I own because I tend to be a creature habit and wear the same six t-shirts every week and I want to break I want to break free <laughs> I want to break free of that mold a little bit. And also, now that I'm completely done with nursing, uh, I feel like maybe I can mix up my mama form a little bit. I don't know. We'll see what the year unfolds. We'll see what unfolds this year. I feel like I'm kind of coming back into my body and myself as an individual, separate from, you know, my momness. Although that's a big part of me, of course. But I think it's a natural progression and it's uh, just part of part of the it's part of the deal anyway this was good and I'm glad to have finished it and I am glad to let go of these things I am gonna go through my uh, accessories and shoes with you I honestly I don't know what I'm gonna do there my feet did grow a 
teensy tiny bit, but I don't know if it means I need to get rid of all my shoes. I'm not sure. Um, so we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this and that it gave you some motivation to tackle your own stuff if you're feeling, feeling swayed in that direction. And I hope your spring cleaning and decluttering efforts are going well. Thank you so much for watching and take good care. Bye you guys, happy cleaning.